Howdy folks, I am Ruzkeo, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. In the last episode, we finished off Ibuki's for you time events, and started up on Gundams. Well, started continuing up on Gundams. Uh, in this episode, I've rearranged some characters. Most everyone's taking a rest because they're about to pass out. A spirit bond restores consciousness, so poor Chiaki's getting the shaft and joining the cleaning crew. And uh, everyone else is jumping on the ancient ruins because I need some. I need. I'm going to need a lot of tree vines in order to get the uh, tool that I want. So, um, and since it's kind of like the most rare uh, material, at least I think it's the mo at, le at least I think it's one of the most rare materials. I want to try to get that set up as much as I can. So, we'll start there. And everyone will go. Now we'll check out Akane. Look at her go! Ah! <laughs> terrifying eyes and terrifying face. Well, I got a couple tree vines this time around. Um, three? No, just the two. Okay, well, I can do with the two. So this should... Well, uh, we can get back to the actual island mode once we get there. Or, um, the material gathering. What have you. Anyway, um... Back to Gundam. Hi Gundam. I have plenty of sunflower seeds for you. Would you like would you like them? I'm sure your hamsters would. Uh da 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 da. Now then, it's time for me to make my next move. I can be bored to death. Entertain me. So we'll probably get plenty of uh, flavor text like that, which is pretty common. Uh what was it? Uh, it was like nineteen. No, nope, it was eighteen. Have some sunflower seeds. You're good to go. You are rather nice. I will never forget this day. Don't get any closer! I already know what you're thinking! Uh, what do you know that even I don't know? Now then! Summon your familiar! No, I, I don't have anything like that. You've come challenging me many times! I thought you finally obtained at least one familiar! Just as I thought! You're just a mere human! And a strange one at that! Despite what he's saying, Gundam doesn't seem all that annoyed. Is he opening up to me a little? However, you probably don't understand how pointless this place is for a demon beast tamer. Well, now that you mention it, even though this is a tropical island, I don't really see any wild animals. If this place really was a normal tropical island, I wouldn't have time to talk to you so freely. Many beasts inhabit the thick forests. There may even be rare species that only exist on this island. <laughs> ah, just thinking about it makes me tingle. Wow, he's uh, smiling right now. Oh, I uh, seem to recall seeing a cow at the ranch. I am not interested in some domesticated animal. Oh, I had a feeling you'd say that. After all, I cannot look at it without feeling pity. Huh? Th that's a bit unexpected. Wait, didn't they change the cow into a... No, they changed the chicken into a cow. That's right, because I was upset because chickens are so much cooler. I mean, they're birds that have trouble flying. But they're, like, sized to be able to do it effectively. It's... It, 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 why am I fascinated all of a sudden? I don't know. Such creatures are born to be eaten by humans. Even if I had the all-seeing eye, I couldn't change that fate. Thus, I try not to involve myself with livestock. It would bring a calamity unto my mind, after all. Gundam understands the feelings of animals, so this must be a complicated subject for him. I wonder if he's a vegetarian in that case. That very w hmm. That very well could be. Hmm. I appear to be getting oddly sentimental since I haven't encountered any new demon beasts. I've tamed various creatures, such as the Cerberus, the Phoenix, and even the Midgard Serpent. He probably means dogs, birds, and lizards? When you say tamed, what exactly does that entail? Hmm. I guess it's fine to tell him you're human. I don't believe that you'll get in my way. Basically, you must say, good girl. Good girl. Uh-huh. You must repeatedly speak to them, and make sure they understand that there is no ill will on your end. I, 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 it says R, which technically I think could still work, 
But I think it was supposed to be your. In order to do that, you need to appear innocent! It must be kind of hard for him with the scar and the scowl all the time. Of course, there are some who like to be touched, and some that don't. It's better if you keep these basics down. Afterward, as long as you spend a long time together, you'll eventually start to hear your partner's words. I'm pretty sure that only happens to ultimate breeders. But Gundam seems different than usual when he talks about animals. Somehow, his face seems gentler. He must really love animals. Now then! I wonder if there are evil demon beasts that will rile me up on this island somewhere! Monokuma and Monomi are sort of shaped like animals. They are no good! Anything that can talk will eventually betray you. And most importantly, they aren't cute. That I can agree with. But I don't plan to betray you at all. Hmm! Such exaggerations! Coming from a mere human like you! However, that is a nice line. Gundam left the area with a different smile on his face than usual. I hope we'll be able to understand each other, even if it's just a little bit at a time. Alright, so that leaves, what, one more conversation with him, I think? So, we left the area, and then we have the next day. Get some rest, and keep going at it tomorrow. So, I think that, I think the uh, cleaning rate was a bit more on par. If I'm participating, I'll give my all. I must take care of my basic mental fortitude. Peckle seems to be feeling pretty good. And she's giving away, wow, three java salads. Since you're all working so hard, here you go. Have a nice day. Alright, so let me go ahead and see what java salads do. A little bit of HP, huh? Oh. I was kind of figuring uh, Chiaki would uh, bite the dust. So... <laughs> um, th that's probably not the best way to put it. Anyway, um, oh, that didn't, that didn't work like I was expecting it to. Bummer. Um, hi there. I just want to interject real quick, um, because I think, I, I, because I think I got a pretty good sense of how the game works, or at least I've portrayed that, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, cut a fair amount of it out. Maybe I'll keep some of the highlight stuff in, but just to keep things a little bit shorter, I'm going to cut out most of this uh, gathering material gathering stuff out and focus mostly on the free time events. Um, if something comes up or I change my mind or how or what have you, I'll probably try to mention that and uh, keep you guys notified of that. But for the most part, not a whole heck of a lot is going on. So on with the show. I'll keep the, I'll keep the last Java salad around. Maybe I can get maybe I can get some more use out of it. There goes Peko, pickaxing away at the uh, at the military base. I didn't realize that you know you found stuff like that, but okay. And poor Chiaki, she's down for the count. But that's what the spirit bomb is for. I think it's I think it'll take three days for me to feel completely awake again. To be fair, you were always kind of on the edge of passing out, so maybe maybe this just fits in fits in with her character better than anything else. Anyway, um, we'll do the last we'll do our last free time event. Oops, we'll do our last free time event with Mr. Gundam. Just check our pet real quick. Okay, so I need I so the pet that I'm aiming to do. If I try to, if I can actually remember it and keep it, keep track of it, is Monokuma, which I need a pretty full uh, despair meter as well as the full hope. So we'll do what we can there. But I did let the last one die accidentally because I wasn't keeping track of it, and uh, yeah, I I screwed the pooch on that one. So nothing I could really do about it. Okay, Mr. Gundam. Is this the last one? I think I feel like I have one more after this. Which very well could be the case. I think I have one more after this, so I think this is four or five. Hajime, you fiend, you are rather nice. 
Hold it, if you come any closer. I know, I know, I won't get close to you. It appears that you finally noticed the blood that flows within me bears a fearsome curse. Of course it does. Ever since I was young, this body of mine was exposed to so many poisons that it became poisonous itself. If a mere human like you ever touched me, you would immediately decompose and wither away. Thus, I've been trying to make sure you don't get too close to me. Does that mean you've been thinking of me? Hmph! Don't get ahead of yourself. Even if you're just a foolish human, I'm not so cruel as to yawn for a meaningless death. Hmm, I, can I assume that he's blushing? But he says his blood is poison. What would be the advantage of that? That's kind of a weird way to... That'd be kind, that's kind of a weird way to start a sentence. Whatever. It's not an issue of gains and losses. I become like this because I had to. I have to be like this, even if I don't want to be. I've been putting poison in my body ever since I was young. Hey, you have some sort of condition? Sounds somewhat plausible. Could it be you're getting ready to poison someone? Your mom's an awful cook. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh, that's that's amazing. Um. Oh, he said he didn't care for a meaningless death. I, did I miss the point of the conversation? I don't know. I guess so. Maybe you're building up poison in your body because you're preparing to poison someone? Huh, how cliche! That definitely suits a beginner like you! Looks like I got it wrong. God, I'm awful with him. Please... Part of me kind of wants it to be mom's awful cooking, but I, probably not. <gasps> it's a, It actually is! What? You actually like drinking poison, right? Oh, I don't dislike your interpretation. It seems you're starting to understand a little. Seems happy, but I was wrong. Wow, way to go. Absolute last choice. Um, was your mother's cooking bad? <gasps> Crap, I was only joking, but it sounds like that was exactly it. You wouldn't understand how much pain I had to endure. Plus, that woman would cry if I didn't finish my plate. What choice did I have but to suffer in silence? Don't you feel better now that you've talked about it? I mean, you're actually a really kind guy. Anyway, now that you understand, you shouldn't come any closer to me. Know that if you ever touch me, it would mean death for you. But that's really lonesome. Hey Gundam, can I ask you something? If you have the fortitude to ask me... That? I didn't even say anything yet. Um, when you were in grade school, did you ever hold hands with any of the other kids? It's obvious now, but at the time, I was faking my condition. By moving next to the teacher who served me, I was able to avoid questions and survive without any problems. Did you ever have to do a folk dance? You don't understand! That is a ceremony for summoning ev evil deities! Fortunately, the school nurse was in the same tribe as me, so I was able to leave without getting involved. I see. It might have been bad of me to point out something so unnecessary. I don't know what to say to him anymore. So then, what kind of people are okay to get close to you? Anyone whose power matches my own! Oh, no. There is no way such a being exists. You should just forget about that. For your sake. And with those words, Gundam walked away. He seemed very lonely. Pretty reflective of how he was in Chapter 2 as well. And, as he would say, That's a nice line! As he was... Uh, I kind of wish Hajime had said that when he walked away. But, eh, uh, missed opportunities. What was he going to say? If he just told me, maybe I could have done something about it. And if I had, maybe he wouldn't have shouted nonsense at me. But the nonsense is the best part! He's on the verge of insanity. And sometimes it's just nice to be able to look at that on the, look at that uh, from the outside on, in. Instead of having to experience it day in and day out. Anyway, after seeing Gundam walk away, I returned to my room. 
and it was the end of the day, and we go into the next one, and I don't want to quit because I'm totally addicted to this, and this earworm music. Seriously, if you can get through... Seriously, if you can get through... Well, not this particular song, but if you can get through this game mode without that, uh... that chiptune thing getting stuck in your head, God, I'd like to know your secret. Good morning! No matter where I go, I feel like I'll be able to take great photos! And she seems to be having a good time. Apparently, he had a very good time. Oh, anyway, I guess that's probably it. Darn, I'm getting super attached to this. I don't know what it is. This mode is super addictive. I, I, I hate the fact that it's so <laughs> addictive. Anyway, um, that's it. I, I, I guess in the next episode we'll. We'll probably finish off Gundam's free time events, and I guess that's it. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.